God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know your baby boy would one day walk on the water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Mary, did you know that he has walked where angels trod? Mary, did you know that when you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God? It's the song, Mary, Did You Know? It's one of my favorite songs, um, particularly about Mary. And it seems incredibly appropriate today, given that our gospel is all about Mary and Elizabeth, and also our response to the first reading, the Magnificat. Mary, like many women in the Bible, frequently get overshadowed by other events that take place in Scripture. But it's worth spending a little bit of time talking about her this morning. Not just because she is this vessel that is filled with God, that becomes pregnant with Jesus and brings him out into the world, but because Mary is a perfect example of who we are created and made to be. A perfect model that we are made to emulate. If you think back to the book of Exodus, you might remember Moses going up the Mount Sinai, coming down with the law, the tablets of the Ten Commandments. Moses comes down, he brings them, and it's the words of God's salvation. It's how God's people can follow him, how they can inherit eternal life, how they can live good and holy lives. Moses brings this down to the people and they place the tablets in the Ark of the Covenant. And then wherever they go, as they travel, they carry the Ark with them, the container of, with God's word inside. Mary is an incredible example to us because Mary is a new ark. We talk about her all the time, but frequently only touch on these moments of Jesus' <coughs> life in the Gospels. We talk about Mary in the moments when the angel Gabriel appeared to her and told her that she was going to be pregnant and give birth, which must have filled her with terror given that she was an unwed child, well, teenager, and the sentence would have been death for her. We hear about Mary a few other points throughout Scripture. When she comes to collect Jesus because her and the rest of her family think he's gone insane. Or when she comes to see him on the cross. But one of the points we don't often talk about with Mary is the point between the angel Gabriel appearing and her giving birth in the nativity. That nine-month period when she had Jesus Word of God growing, germinating, expanding, strengthening inside of her. This period of time when Christ was literally inside and developing in her, so that she could then bring Jesus out into the world. The Magnificat is a holy and beautiful prayer. It's one that we hear all over the world. When you think of the world turning, you can think of it almost like a wave of prayer that encapsulates the whole planet. Mary is a new ark. Within her is the word of God coming out into the world. God himself being made human, descending down into the world so that we may all ascend up with him. Mary is a perfect model of who we are made and called to be. Because each one of you has the light of Christ inside of you. We all have Jesus within. And part of our call and who we are made to be is to strengthen him. To help him expand, to grow within our lives. So that he may be brought out and into the world. Not just in us, but in others too. In a very short time, we're going to be celebrating Christmas. We've been preparing for it for weeks, and now Jesus is just about here and among us. As we get ready for these celebrations, as we get ready for time with family, with presents, with 
cookies and baked goods, all the fun good things that come with Christmas, it's important that we don't lose sight of why we celebrate it, what the substance of it is, what the meaning of Christmas is. It's not about the gifts, it's not about the baked goods, it's not about the family traditions. It's about Christ. It's about the child Jesus, God made man incarnate, coming into the world. It's a time for us to consider ourselves and how we have encouraged Christ to grow within us. How we are living our lives and how we are bringing Jesus out into the world. Because that is the point. That is the meaning of it. That is what it means for us to be as Christians. This is a time of year when we can celebrate with each other that inside of each of us is the light of God. When we recognize that, when we strengthen it, when we support it throughout the course of our lives, then we can sing just like Mary did, that our souls magnify the greatness of the Lord, and our spirits rejoice in God our Savior. Because when we do that, then at the final day when we stand before God and His throne, all generations will call us blessed. Amen. Amen.